My focus is making sure that we get these results out. One day after caucusing ended, Democratic officials in Iowa tried to appease frustrated voters and candidates alike by getting the results out. They only half succeeded, releasing partial results but not declaring an outright winner. We want Iowans to be confident in the results and in the process, and we are going to take the time that we need to make sure that we do just that. Iowa Democratic Party Chairman Troy Price apologized and vowed to run a probe into what went wrong. The initial partial results out on Tuesday signaled that Pete Buttigieg and Bernie Sanders had a good night and that Joe Biden did not. But without the full results, no Democrat can, as of yet, use Iowa as the catapult they need to boost their prospects in a crowded field. The uncertainty enraged Iowa Democrats, worried that it would only strengthen Trump's bid for re-election and prompted some Democratic campaigns to question whether the results would be legitimate. I just don't understand what that means, to release half of the data. Senator Elizabeth Warren. I think they ought to get it together and release all of the data. Senator Bernie Sanders said there was no excuse for not having a final vote tally on Monday. I think the people of Iowa have done their duty, and unfortunately, I, I think the Democratic Party here in Iowa has been negligent in not getting us timely results. Senator Campaign aides for former Vice President Joe Biden said the failures in the caucuses risked the integrity of the vote altogether. Some local officials reported having trouble using a mobile app designed to report results from schools, community centers, and other locations. But when they turned to the traditional method, calling results in by phone, they were put on hold and could not get through. But on the stump in New Hampshire Tuesday, Democrats put on a happy face. I'm feeling good. We had a good night last night. What an amazing night we had last night. I'm someone that thrives in chaos. Meanwhile, in Michigan... Uh, I hear something happened in Iowa, or, or, or didn't happen, I don't know which. Another candidate, billionaire former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg, suggested his decision to skip the first nominating states altogether had been validated. Anyways, but while all the other Democratic candidates have flown to New Hampshire now, I'm here in Michigan because this is a state... We have, so we have to win this state in November if we're going to beat Donald Trump. Make no mistake about it. Bloomberg said he would seize the moment created by the lack of a clear Iowa winner and double his already massive ad spending. Another wealthy New Yorker who sought to capitalize on the Iowa mess, Donald Trump, who tweeted that the Democrats' caucus confusion was an unmitigated disaster. Republican Senate leader Mitch McConnell rubbed the salt in Democrats' wounds as well, tweeting, quote, the same Democrats who want to take over everyone's health care and micromanage the entire economy couldn't even organize their own traditional Iowa caucuses.